animals involved in outbreaks of the strongest diseases. Avian influenza. Transmission and infection of H5N1 from infected avian sources to humans has been a concern since the first documented case of human infection in 1997, due to the global spread of H5N1 that constitutes a pandemic threat. Infected birds pass on H5N1 through their saliva, nasal secretions and feces. Other birds may pick up the virus through direct contact with these excretions or when they have contact with surfaces contaminated with this material. Because the natural reservoir host of Ebola viruses has not yet been identified, the way in which the virus first appears in a human at the start of an outbreak is unknown. However, scientists believe that the first patient becomes infected through contact with an infected animal, such as a fruit bat or primate, apes and monkeys, which is called a spillover event. Plague. The bacteria that causes plague, Yersinia pestis, maintain their existence in a cycle involving rodents and their fleas. In urban areas or places with dense rat infestations, the plague bacteria can cycle between rats and their fleas. The last urban outbreak of rat-associated plague in the United States occurred in Los Angeles in 1924 to 1925. HIV. Two types of HIV exist, HIV-1 and HIV-2. HIV-1 is more virulent and is more easily transmitted and is the cause of the vast majority of HIV infections globally. The pandemic strain of HIV-1 is closely related to a virus found in the chimpanzees which live in the forests of the Central African nations of Cameroon, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon and the Republic of Congo. Malaria. Malaria is transmitted amongst humans by female mosquitoes of the genus Anopheles. Female mosquitoes take blood meals to carry out egg production, and such blood meals are the link between the humans and the mosquito hosts of the parasite life cycle. There are approximately 3,500 species of mosquitoes grouped into 41 genera. Human malaria is transmitted only by females of the genus Anopheles. Of the approximately 430 Anopheles species, only 30 to 40 transmit malaria in nature. Rabies. All species of mammals are susceptible to rabies virus infection, but only a few species are important as reservoirs for the disease. In the United States, distinct strains of rabies virus have been identified in raccoons, skunks, foxes and coyotes. Several species of insectivorous bats are also reservoirs for strains of the rabies virus. Transmissions of rabies virus usually begins when infected saliva of a host is passed to an uninfected animal. The most common mode of rabies virus transmission is through the bite and the virus-containing saliva of an infected host. Anthrax most people who get sick from anthrax are exposed while working with infected animals or animal products, such as wool, hides or hair. Inhalation anthrax can occur when a person inhales spores that are in the air, aerosolized, during the industrial processing of contaminated materials, such as wool, hides or hair. Cutaneous anthrax can occur when workers who handle contaminated animal products get spores in a cut or scrape on their skin.